Dear Liv, it's finally here. Years of love, months of dating, days of texting, and one piece of Orbit gum has brought us to the best day of our lives. I can't be surprised. We have spent too many days planning this for this day. I can, however, be madly in love with the woman you are today, just as I was in love with the girl you were seven years ago from now. You know the Lord works in mysterious ways when he presents two 18-year-olds with the choice of cherishing the two wonderful years they had and starting fresh in a new state, starting even newer lives, or committing to a long-distance relationship with no guarantees for success, but the promise of emotional pain, loneliness, and the fear of failure. God could have been the only one that knew those people would choose the latter. I can say I would do it all again, Liv. You are the prettiest girl I have ever seen and the most beautiful person I have ever met. Back with five years of first-hand experience, I can tell you, no amount of time separated would have been too long. For today, it was just the right amount of wait. I will catch you on the flip side. Bride, wife, best friend. Love, Jay. Jay, my math partner, boyfriend, fiance, love, and today my husband. Today is the day we have talked about and waited for since we were 17 years old, sitting at Sonic every Tuesday between cheer and baseball practices. Today, I get to become your wife, your forever roommate, your teammate, your forever. We get to be done with long distance forever, and we get to see each other every day with no looming goodbye, need to schedule the next visit, or tear field see you later. You are the most loving, consistent, patient, and loyal person I've ever met in my life. As your wife, I get to spend the rest of my life trying to learn how to grow into the best version of myself by your side. I can't wait to see our future, all of our babies, and our beautiful life together. I promise to keep God the center of our relationship and stay true to our moral compass. I promise to take care of you, laugh with you, push you, and support you in all things. I love you, heart you, and choose you forever. One, four, three, live. Wow. Look at you. <laughs> I've loved you for seven years, and today I officially claim all the rest of them. I've known since the moment I drove away from you at Butter Biscuit in Arkansas to go to college at TCU, but all I could think about was wanting to be back with you, that I wanted to spend the rest of my life coming home to you. I can't wait to be your wife. I promise to love you the way Jesus loves you, unfractured, pure, selfless, and unending. I promise to keep both mayonnaise and Miracle Whip in the house at all times. I promise to choose you always, both when times are easy and in times of struggle. I promise to follow you as you lead me and our future family to love Jesus. We have finally made it. Our seven years together has somehow flown by and moved painfully slow at the same time. <laughs> I will never forget the first time I made you smile. And no matter how many times I see it, I still love it like it's the first time. I promise to cherish and love every moment I am with you. I promise to spare you from the dirty dishes. <laughs> I promise to love you the way Jesus loves you, unfractured, pure, selfless, and unending. I promise to chase your smile for the rest of my days. I promise to weather all of life's storms at your side till death do us part. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jacob, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I, for the first time, pronounce to you Mrs. and Mr. Jacob Williams.
that uh, the relationship that you have and the love that you have remains savvy enough to conquer these current difficult times and old fashioned enough to last forever because you've got a great start. You're old souls and you're meant for each other. And we're just blessed that uh, you two are together. And we love you, all of us love you. To Lauren and Jacob.